Hey guys, this is Nick from Beer and Bat Reps, and today I am drinking beer and painting some trogoths. So, I'm trying to make my trog hag match this guy. She'll be a little different, she'll be a little darker, but we're going to follow kind of that same green base, then dark blue scales, then light blue scales, then almost silver scales, like fish scales. So, first up... Spray white. I already did a couple steps. I'm going to show you how I did it. We spray white. And then you're going to go with War Boss Green for the main layer. So you hit all that up, leaving the parts with the scales white. Then, when you're done with that, you go onto the scales and you go with Sotec Green. It says green, it's very blue, but so take green. You can see I left the lips. There's some cheek scales, some scales on her head, there's scales on her ears. I did those the so tech green and then the war boss green for the rest of the ears. Alright. And then her uh, talons and then her teeth. Oops, there we go. I went ahead and did with Ushab T Bone. So once again, skin is Warboss Green, scales are Sotec Green, anything bone or nails is going to be Ushabti Bone. So the next step we're going to do, over the entire green part, and I think we're going to do the blue part as well, so over the whole model other than the bone color you just said, so over all the green and blue, we're going to do a Thonian Camo Shade. All right, we'll be back when that's done. Okay, so after washing the whole model in the uh, camo shade wash, I also hit her hair with it because I wanted that to have kind of a seafood, <laughs> seafood, seaweed effect to it. <laughs> so kind of looks like nasty seaweed. So we got her all completely covered. Now, all of the green parts, all of her green skin, we're now going to dry brush with underhive ash. So I'll show you what this will kind of look like. So it's one of these uh, dry type paints. Okay. <laughs> Get the majority of it off your brush. You know. And then you go to the green start start here just it's not going to seem like much at first but you just hit all these raised areas and it's eventually going to start this highlighting effect Some more out there. Like I said, it's it's gonna be subtle, but like when you see the highlights right here, as opposed to this side, you'll notice. So we're gonna do all the green like that. We'll be back when that's done. So now you can see the highlighting on all these raised areas. So next we're going to do the exact same thing, dry brushing. But we're going to do it on these brown and we're going to do it, or on the blue, and we're going to do it with Temple Guard Blue. And that's a really bright blue. So the exact same method, you dab it all off as much as possible and then you dry brush on all these blue areas. And we'll be back after she's all dry brushed. So. All those highlights are on there, on the arms. Come on, focus. On her nasty face. Yeah, on her face. Body, so we got the, the lighter blue dry brushed on there over the darker blue. 
All right, so the next step is in the center of the scales on each part, big, but not maybe not the whole thing, but you know, go a little lighter on it. Believe it or not, we're going to do Necron Compound Dry Brush. And the reason we go to that silver is because when it goes over the blue, you end up with fish scales. If you've ever gone fishing or seen a real fish up close when you pull it out, it definitely has this like shiny, almost metallic color over the green or blue. So we'll be back after that. It's looking pretty good so far, guys. So now the scales have that nice silver dry brushed over the blue. And it just gives her a real fishy <laughs> fish scale look. I went ahead and also did Recklin Flesh Shade over her teeth and uh, toe nails. And I always like to do that over the Ushabti bone to get that nice reddish bone look for the nasty teeth. Uh, the next step is you take that same Ushtab de bone and you look for any bones, skulls, rib cages in her nasty uh, bag of sad people who've been captured. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is also in this bag you're going to look for anything made of metal. If you look close there's all kinds of axes and swords in there. So anything made of metal that we find, we're going to do lead belcher. After that, uh, we're going to also then take your favorite brown, whether that's Mornfang brown or Doombull brown, and just find anything made of wood. There's a couple treasure chests in there, maybe some shafts for spears in there. You're going to hit that. And then when that's done, we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and just cover the whole bag. So you're just going to really soak the whole bag in Agrax Earthshade after that. And we'll be back to show you how that looks. Okay, so as I was painting the net, you realize just how many unique things are in there. So take your time. There's a lot of fun stuff in there. Armor plates, helmets, there's a treasure chest, lots of bones. And then I realized this squid, these tentacles are popping up everywhere. So I chose for that... I chose Fire Dragon Bright. Um, a pink would also be good. A blue or a yellow would also look good on that, just to be different from the green and blue. But yeah, I just went ahead and did Fire Dragon Bright on all the tentacles. And then once I had picked out every little thing that I wanted to be painted differently, I then just soaked the whole thing in Agrax Earthshade. So, Agrax Earthshade. And that pretty much just makes the net look great, muddy, gnarly. So she's coming along. She's almost there, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is the staff. And if you uh, have seen my Rodigus painting tutorial, it's going to be the same as his staff. So that's the way I like it. We're going to do Rhinox Hide. That real, real dark brown. And then when that's dry, we're going to dry brush Longbeard Gray on it. And it's going to make it look really old and withered. And we'll be back at the end of that one. So I ended up going pretty thick with the long beard gray dry brush because I wanted to look kind of like a uh, an aspen tree or a birch tree. Then I went ahead and did the next step as you may be able to see and how I did those eyes is I took Flash Gets Yellow, waited for that to dry and then I did Lamenter's Yellow Glaze over that to get the eyes really yellow and then good old Abaddon Black and a very steady hand and sharp paintbrush and gave her some kind of snake eyes. And here we have it. The Trogoth Hag. Ready to be based to match the rest of your army however you're going to do it. I'll just let you know I'm, I plan on doing Rhinox Hide on the whole base and then I'm going to use the Citadel Special Effect I think it's Sterling mud or Averland mud over the whole thing, up some of her feet. This is really, really muddy swamps. So she's going to be trucking through the swamp. And I think it ended up pretty well. I set out to try to match what I painted like two years ago and didn't write down what it was. <laughs> she's a little more green than he is, but that's okay. 
She's got the fish scales. She's got her net of nasty stuff. She is ugly. But honestly, I paint a lot of Trogoths and I paint a lot of Nurgle. So I'm used to painting very, very ugly things. This is Nick from Beer and Bat Reps. Hopefully this helps a little bit. I'm going to get her on the table soon. Thank you for liking, watching, subscribing, telling your friends, following along, drinking beer with me. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks.